Hello. Uh, my name is Alina. And um, if you found this video, then you're probably doing what I was doing and scouring the internet looking for other people who have experienced what we're experiencing. Uh, these daily hives. <laughs> um, basically, back when this first started happening to me, I searched everywhere to find other people having similar experiences to see if I could help figure this out for myself. And there was barely anything, so I thought that I would put this out there uh, to let everyone know, hello, I'm itchy too, um, and it's nice to meet you, and I hope that we can figure this out together. Um, I do plan on putting out more videos about this topic because it's been a long two-year journey for me, and I, I have figured out some things that have really helped me. Uh, in fact, I'm hopefully going to be ending it with a happy video um, of my success story where I've cured these hives. I'm close. I'm so close. Uh, I haven't had hives in quite a while except for when my arms touched an Apple iPad box and then I have right up. I don't know what Apple puts in their boxes, but other than that, I'm almost totally hive free with no medication. So. Uh, stay tuned and subscribe if you're interested in that and coming along with me in this whole journey and this wild time that it's been um, and hopefully something that I bring up will work for you too. But I'm, I'm going to start here now with where it all began. So in October of 2017, I woke up one morning and my entire face was covered in these huge, giant, swollen, my eyelids around my mouth, my cheeks. I'll insert a photo here of what happened. Sorry for the bad quality. I was busy trying to hide my face at the Medi Center. Um, but basically, I have no idea what happened. Nothing changed. Everything in my life was the same. I used the same face products, the same detergents, the same hair stuff, the same everything. Nothing was new. And suddenly I went to bed and woke up with that busted face. Um, my fiance looked at me and was like, what happened this time? I'm like, I don't know. It was a whole meltdown of a morning. Um, I put on some clothes, packed myself up and walked a hundred meters over to our little Medi Center and checked in and sat down. Um, this was also mortifying, but they forgot about me in the waiting room. So I'm sitting there with this swollen, busted face, trying to hide myself from the children and it was just me and one other girl in there. Again, this was really early in the morning. Like I woke up really itchy and in pain and having a hard time breathing. Like this was an allergy. I don't know what happened, but so I, she, this girl before me, she went, she left. Other people kept coming. They went in, they left. I was still busted and sitting in the waiting room. So after about an hour, <laughs> I worked up the courage to wander over to the reception and be like, hey, just wondering, like I maybe other people have other things, like there was children, I was trying to, you know, be gracious about it. But I asked her, you know, do you know when I'm getting in? Like things are kind of dire here. And she's like, oh, is your name Jennifer? And there was only me and one other girl in there. And like, she must have been, Je no, I'm not Jennifer. She's like, oh, we, I must not have checked you in. Cue me having meltdown number two, of the day. I'm, I'm hiding in the Medi Center bathroom at this point. Um, she felt bad for me. She did find me a room and she put me in there. And that's where then I had the rest of my meltdown while I waited for the doctor. So the doctor comes in and he's like, he can see I'm not having a good day. I'm busted. I'm crying. It's hard. And he's like, does this happen to you often? I'm like, no, this is, this is, this is new. I don't know what this is. So 
he can't really decipher what it is apart from the fact that it's probably given that I was having a bit of a hard time breathing it's probably an allergy so he sent me off with cetirizine and some kind of cream that I can't remember the name of but it doesn't matter it didn't help so the cetirizine though life hack um if you have allergies and you're tired of paying $50 for 30 reactine pills, go to your doctor, get them to prescribe cetirizine to you. It's, it's, I think it's just reactine, but basically then you can use your insurance to have tons of pills covered. So like instead of your box of 30 for 50 bucks, you can get like your little pill thing of a hundred for like $6 after your insurance covers it. So that was perfect. Um, again, huge life hack. You know, I'll give you that for free. So went over again, another few blocks trying to cover my face from the world to the London drugs to fill my new prescriptions. And the woman there was like, Whoa, all right. I'm, I feel bad for you. I'm going to fill this fast so that you can like get your busted face home. And I'm like, thank you. And she's like, have you tried switching to like unscented stuff? So she basically directed me while I was, I don't know, maybe she just did like upsold me. I don't know. I don't know. But she <laughs> convinced me to go and buy Tide Free and like a few other unscented cleaning products and that, which I mean, when your like face is that busted, like, give me all of the tips. I'll do anything. So as she's filling my prescription, um, I'm running down the aisles, pack it up as much money and unscented products as I can. And I go collect my pills, check out, take everything and go home and wash everything because like I'm not, it's no prisoners here. Um, basically, end of that story is nothing helped. Uh, from that day forward, I had chronic hives. So every day I'd wake up and my skin was itchy and boiling and bubbling and I didn't know what to do. So that's where my story starts and I'm going to wrap this one up here because it's already been a little long. Um, but I'll continue these and keep the story going through my two years and all of my trials and everything that I hoped would solve my issues. I went off birth control. I, um, I tried all kinds of different dermatologist hacks, all different allergy testing. I almost died in Korea. Like I'll, I'll tell you everything so that you don't have to try the same things I've already tried for you. Um, so again, welcome if you're also like me and dealing with this ridiculous situation subscribe to follow along as i tell you all about this and yeah we'll be in touch so nice to meet you and i'll talk to you soon thanks bye bye